now let us see one more type of question right this is uh, account for the following earlier we have seen complete the following before that we have seen increasing and decreasing order of basicity or solubility or um, uh, your uh, this one uh, pkb value and now we are coming back to one more concept where account for the following is a quite common word in your board paper let's see how are they going to question you now they've asked us pkb for aniline is more than that of methylamine okay this question was already done but if they are asking you for one mark how should you write that let us write this answer we very well know pkb whenever pkb concept is given to you one important clue which should strike your mind is strong basis will have low pkb this should always should have this in your mind if you don't if your pkb value is not given to you how will you analyze that yes more alkyl groups r is alkyl groups they are highly basic you should remember this then only i can explain you what is that concept now pkb for aniline is more basic it seems okay <coughs> other way around weak bases have high pkb now, let's come back into in aniline when i have to see or compare aniline and methylamine this is your methylamine this is your aniline now i've shown one uh, video where i explain the resonance structures of aniline i explain you because of the resonance the aniline is a weak base watch that video where all the resonating structures are drawn i'm not drawing it here please watch that video now here <coughs> this is a strong base why based on this concept because of e electron releasing methyl group this is releasing electrons isn't it when it's trying to release electrons your electron cloud becomes more and more when electron cloud becomes more and more it easily donates electrons yes hence basic so electron releasing group increases electron density so this is your first concept second concept is this third concept when it is donating they are okay we have done almost i think no right strong base yes why strong base because electron density in electron releasing group it increases electron density yes hence pkb will be i said for strong bases pkb will be pk and low simple let's come back here in case of aniline what are you observing compared to this most important thing delocalization of electrons due to resonance now your lone pair of electrons are given to this the shifting of pi bonds yes first important thing the aniline is a weak base why are you saying it is a weak base because of electron withdrawing benzene ring and what happens here in benzene ring concept of resonance that is your delocalization of electrons because of this delocalization of electrons are electrons available for nitrogen to give no isn't it electrons are not available for donation when it is not available for donation automatically the weak basis when it is weak what will happen to the pkb pkb is higher it's so a simple thing. What should you do? Start comparing. Then only you can easily write an answer. I've compared between strong and weak. Point number one. I've compared between electron releasing and electron withdrawing. Yes. And because of this, electron density increases. Yes. Because of this, electron density decreases. Done. Then I've come back to PKB. I said <coughs> low for strong basis. PKB high for strong bases, also for weak bases. This is your answer. Let's come back and answer the B part. Now they said aniline does not undergo Friedel-Crafts reaction. Huh? We have done nitration reaction uh, of aniline, sulfonation, halogenation, but we have not done Friedel-Crafts alkylation, acylation. What is the reason they asked? Now, first, as soon as such question is given, copy that question here. Aniline does not undergo reaction because and start. Now this is your aniline. In Friedel Crafts reaction, what is the uh, acid Lewis acid it's going to combine with? Anhydrous AlCl3. 
Yes. Now, what is the comparison? Now, aniline is a Lewis base. This is a Lewis acid. Correct? Now, and this is your Friedel Crafts reaction. Now, we very well know what is a Lewis base. Lewis base tries to donate an electron pair to Lewis acid. Yes, it donates electron pair, which nitrogen has. So, when it is donating an electron pair, it is going to form a salt. What type of salt does it form? It is going to form a salt. Just see N H, right? So, see here N H2 plus A L C L3 minus. Together, it is going to form a salt. Now, what charge are you observing on? I mean, you are observing a positive charge. Now, this is plus. So now tell me, already there is a plus here, will it allow electrophilic substitution reactions, will it allow an electrophile to come and attack here? No, isn't it? Already it has formed a salt. So electrophilic substitution reactions or the electrophile does not approach the salt, cannot, already it is deficient here. So electrophile cannot approach, hence ESR are not possible. That's a simple question. And e e the way you explain is important. How much of a concept you know, writing on the paper is important. 